The Myriorama was invented by Jean-Pierre Bresse in uh, Napoleonic France, and it's called a variable landscape. So what happens is you have all these cards that can create this panoramic landscape, and they can be arranged in different order to create different combinations and make a whole new landscape. And so it's estimated that there are a hundred thousand billion different combinations. If you have 18 of these cards, these are five of them. So even this one change is a variation. Uh, but what's interesting is that each card is individualized, but that all the horizons line up. So maybe we want to have this go here, have the castle at the end. house and then field and we've got this nice bridge here and the balloon all right so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our people our landscape here and we're going to create our own Miriorama and so all of our mountains will be what ties the composition together and then you have your sky and your figure there that will be different. So everyone is going to have a sheet of black paper with a white line on it and this will be the line that you want to have be the same on either side and you can have variations. You can have the mountains go down like this but then come up here, have a nice valley or you could have the mountain come this way and then you're going to flip it over and glue it to the sky that you created before. So I'm going to make mine kind of go like this, and I'm going to create this deep valley here that will then come and meet at that spot there. And then I will take it and I will put it into my sky and use some white glue and this paper is pretty thick so you do need to have quite a lot of glue to have it be stuck on there but use ladybug dots across here And then glue that to the base of your sky. Smooth that out. And then for some added interest, we have some white temper paper here, temper paint. And um, we can just take that and put a little snow on the mountains. So you can take it and kind of make these downward strokes with your paintbrush. You might even have another mountain down here. Maybe there's a some snow that's fallen in this valley here. And then you would take your figure uh, the following week and cut them out and put them somewhere into your painting.